Hello, and welcome to Science Sunday for today. Palindrome Day! Happy Palindrome Day! Even Tinker says Happy Palindrome Day! Happy Palindrome Day, dogs! Today is 02022020. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. So yeah, Happy Palindrome Day, everybody. And, uh, yeah, things and stuff. So, um, I'm Annie. Hi! And on Sundays, we work on colorizing you know, space telescope data. And this week, as in past weeks, we are going to continue working on the Vera Rubin galaxy, which is UGC 2885, I believe. So yeah, uh, let's get to it. So I already have my file up. And last week, I forget who it was already. Um, popped in and was like, hey, use the Polygon Lasso tool to cut things out easier. So we have everything all cut out and ready to go. Um, you should be able to see uh, what I'm working with. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, in watching this later on YouTube, you'll probably see that chat is talking about food because that's what we do. That's what we do. It is it is the Super Bowl today, for those that have missed it, and yeah, uh, there will be food. And the idea of uh, making uh, ICDPI talking about dough, and I'm not sure what the dough is for, but that the idea of dough sounds amazing. Alright, so first things first. I am going to align the top two parts. And we don't want the lasso polygon tool anymore. We just want the move tool. And all of these should have... We'll set the opacity to about 60. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom or the other. Hi, Veronica! Looking forward to popcorn. We thought, favorite human and I thought, seriously thought about doing uh, popcorn fancy, really fancy popcorn. And then we backed out of it. Because we were like, no, that's going to be too much work. Alright, so I'm trying to align on these two stars up here, and it looks like I have a gap, which is actually kind of bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off top left, go back up here, we're going to turn the opacity back up, and we are just going to use our handy dandy polygon tool to try to snip that away. As you can see it, right here. So go here. Not quite what I wanted, but that's okay. So we'll just go above and around it because it doesn't, this part on this side, it doesn't need to be accurate. It's the inside that needs to be accurate. And this is where we kind of run into a problem. You're gonna, oh, it's not gonna let me zoom in anymore. That might be problematic. We might have to repeat this with the other slices. So Hubble has a very, Dr. Pamela talked about it a little bit the other day. Maybe, maybe it was while we were playing video games. Anyways, um, Hubble has a very narrow point uh, view of the sky. So this one galaxy, it required a total of 12 images and they essentially broke it up into quadrants. And there are people who, you know, as a job, like way more professional than I am at this and way more experience, they um, take those, these, you know, black and white grayscale photos that you see, because this is what the data looks like when it comes down from the telescope, and they turn it into the beautiful images that everybody's so used to seeing. Those images, those beautiful images are full of data. They really are. 
Um, this looks like... It's a little hard to tell. I see things going on. I have not seen today's um, A-Pod. And Broken Symmetry is asking, are you taking space-themed beers to the party? Favorite Human and I decided last night which, which beers we're taking to the party because yes, this is very important. I appreciate I have another, uh, I appreciate that my, my partner is, uh, also into craft beers, although that may have been my doing. Um, I have a space-themed cider that I'm going to be taking, and the stout we're taking is called Abraxas. I forget what the cider is. Cider might be star cut or something. But it's a big bottle. But we're taking um, a stout called a Braxis with us tonight. Beyond that, oh, I just have to do one at a time now. Beyond that, um, I don't know what we'll be taking. So. Oh, it's a Spitzer image. Not as narrow of a view as a flat earther. Ay, ay, ay. We're talking about flat earthers because in the pre-show, uh, I was talking, I was mentioning how um, there's going to be a flat earther at tonight's Super Bowl party and I'm not looking forward to it. All right, so I think, there we go. So that is, it's not perfect. You can still see a line right here, but it's probably good enough. And in fact, it looks like it is much better. So, just kind of bump those things. And there's a few things I might try to, uh, do I have snap on or something? There's a few things I might try to get rid of that, and because it's essentially over overlapping, I can probably do some sort of feathery race on this edge. Should probably also turn down the opacity to make sure I am lining everything up right. Not that low. But it looks like we're aligned on these stars, which is good. <clears throat> Yeah, it is hard to get, it is tricky to get space themed beers. I am lucky that I live in an area that has a bottle shop with a lot of beer in stock and they get a lot of new beer in stock. I have, oh wow, it looks like this line got lined up real nice right through here. I'm, I am fortunate to have um, a bottle shop that does carry a lot of different stuff. So I have, three different flavored Sour Novas in the fridge right now. It's either three or two. It might only be two. Because I brought Sour Nova from the Almanac. I brought back a raspberry. Do I have my beer book? I do have my beer book. Hold on. I need to buy a new beer book. Yeah, I brought back a Blackberry Sour Nova. Here is, for those of you that are curious, let me switch views so it's easier to see. That's what the label art for the Almanac uh, Blackberry Sour Nova looks like. And they, I also, they have a Raspberry Sour, sour Nova. They have a Strawberry uh, Basil Sour Nova uh, locally. And I was able to get, I have a can of each one of those, I think. I have something else that has space art on it. I don't, I don't know what's all in my fridge right now. I actually have to go through it. Yeah, essentially I just, I do what Kevlar does. Um, I essentially, I call it a bottle shop. It's also called a package store. Just keep, you know, following, keep trying to follow your local package store. We're going to get rid of this real thin line of stuff that shouldn't be here. 
I know a lot of you might not be able to see it, but I can see it and it's bothering me. So we're actually going to just use the eraser for this, I think, if I can find the eraser. <sighs> nope. We'll just use polygon. It's quick and I don't have to redo it for everything. Yeah, a lot of places have a make your own six pack. Um, my local grocery store does that. My bottle shop, you know, you at my bottle shop, you just go and get everything you want literally by the bottle. Um, and which is nice if you want to just try a bunch of different stuff. There's some things that they force you to buy in a four pack and I just haven't done it. So, all right, so I got rid of that mass line. Now appearing with test shot, star, test shot starfish blackberry sour nova. I know Larry, it's, it was pretty good. I brought, or I bought a four pack of that while I was in uh, Arizona, when I was in Tucson and um, do, 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 don't, don't do it. And, um, oh, this one has that same problem. Why is the fill that? There we go. The opacity should be less than the fill, but whatever. Things happen. Um, but yeah, I brought it back from... Tucson, and then I was able to find uh, other flavors. That was the only flavor they had in Tucson, and I was able to find other flavors at my package shop. Do I like German beer? Um, yes, kind of. Uh, I don't like hoppy beer. Yes, there is music playing. It might be too soft because I can't hear it. I might... The individual uh, songs themselves aren't balanced on the playlist so some some songs are louder than others but there is supposed to be music playing I don't do hoppy um, I typically go for sours and stouts. Ooh, astro camera. And the image looks really pixelated right now because I'm really zoomed in. I am literally trimming just pixels off of the side because I had done what I had thought was a pretty decent cut last week. And compared to what I was doing, it was a decent cut. But I want to make sure we get all of it off. So beer and alcoholic beverages actually has a pretty, like all of that has a pretty interesting um, history. A book I've been reading, it's gonna get green screened out. A book I've been reading is called The Drunken Botanist. Oh, it's not too bad. Um, the Drunken Botanist, and it literally goes through uh, different plants and how they're used or were used historically to make alcohol. Most of it is, um, most of it is, uh, distilled spirits, but they do talk about some beers in there. 
Like there are some beers that are uh, made in Africa and they're not aged very long. They don't use super fancy equipment. It's just sometimes to get everything going, you just need something to break down the starches and the plants and there's an enzyme in your spit. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna get real grossed out real quick. There's an enzyme in your saliva called amylase that actually does a pretty decent job of breaking down starches. And yeah, there's been um, stuff found everywhere. Essentially, as long as there's been humans in most places, not every place, because um, indigenous North America didn't do a whole lot of alcohol. And I'm not entirely too sure why. It's just the wind, buddy. I'm gonna have to deal with this all day until I leave. Um, but a lot of times this, it was discovered on accident and people are like, this is pretty awesome. So there you go. All right, that area is trimmed away. So we should have nice clean trims on that side. That even looks fantastic. I don't think y'all understand how excited I am about this. Hmm. Your CCD is so old that you can't use, use, uh, it's pre, it's pre USB, so you can't use it anymore. Yeah. Uh, there have been people doing that before, um, using these samples. Uh, there's a, Ironically, there's a type of beer from Dogfish Head, I think it's called Midas Touch, where they tried to recreate uh, beer that may have been brewed at a certain point using the stuff that was found in um, pots, traces that were in pots. It was really good and it was really boozy. Um, it could have been Larry. Larry says, I heard beer was thought to drive, was thought to be a drive to invent agriculture. It could have been. Um, it could have been. I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm just saying I, I, I don't know. All right. And yes, weak beer was a safer way to stay hydrated. Um, back when water wasn't safe and people didn't necessarily know how water wasn't safe. Uh, like the first case of epi epidemiology being used in London, I think, where they found out that there was a contaminated well, um, was the well was used by a brewery, but the people that worked in the brewery got free beer while they were working. So they didn't get sick because the water had essentially been treated to become beer. Um, and I always thought that was amazing. Um, other people did get really sick, but that's how they, the methods used was essentially like the uh, four, for, uh, forefather for precursor. It was the precursor to uh, epidemiology. All right, so this one's gonna be a little more difficult. So I think we're gonna try bottom right. Delaware, USA is dogfish it. Oh, let's see, there's a lot of cool breweries. Um, a local brewery is called Birdfish. And you might go WTF Birdfish 
Here's why I think it's called Birdfish. First of all, their logo is a penguin. It's science with the side of beer. Oh, I forgot to switch back. It's science with the side of beer. Um, I totally forgot to show you guys what, what I had done. All right, so I'm gonna put the whole image up here while I dig for this because I just realized that I have didn't switch. Um, I'm really happy with how the top halves are lined up. Uh, but Birdfish is a local brewery. Local as in like we go to the brewery. I go to the brewery occasionally and get growlers filled. Oh, do they not have their logo? Oh, they do have their logo on it. Okay. Do I only have the one? I keep beer labels. Yes, penguins are, are birds that are fish. Okay, cool. I have multiple of their... I have to actually get another... Oh, that one didn't stick well. And that makes me sad. Um... Yes, I keep the labels off of my beer if I can get them off. So, let me find birdfish in here. Urban Artifact, Listerman, a lot of Listerman because their labels are easy to peel off. Um, and after this, I won't forget to transition. So, oh shoot, it might be a little too hard to see. Yeah, my camera's like, you told me not to focus. <coughs> Anyways, I'll just describe the, the logo to you. So it's a circle with the state of Ohio inside. And there's some waves that go through the circle and the state of Ohio. And the waves are approximately latitude? Approximately the latitude of Youngstown area. On top of Ohio, the, the outline of Ohio is an outline of, pe of a penguin. So the local uh, university, Youngstown State University, their mascot is a penguin. And I would not be surprised if the proprietors went to YSU because a lot of people in the area do because it's one of the cheapest universities in the state and it's within driving distance for a lot of those communities, including uh, Columbiana. So yeah, anyways. Back to the galaxy. Which side are we gonna line up first? I think we're gonna line up the right side first. So we're gonna turn top left, and top left, and nope, top left, bottom left. All right, looks like we might have some more lines to delete, but uh, yeah. I thought their uh, name was cool. There's another place here called Numbers. I don't know why they chose Numbers. Couldn't tell you. All right, so close that. All right, it looks like on the top right, zoom in real close there. Yep, there it is. We're gonna have to do that thing again, which is fine. gonna go down this way and these images were angled and I don't know if that's a side effect from you know gyros breaking in Hubble or what or just the uh, process We're gonna call that one good. Bits. Oh, he is laying there oh so nicely too, huh? It's 
Thank you, Kevlar. Uh, make it rain. And then everybody gets quiet again. Anyways, craft beer is amazing. And people have a lot of fun with it. As they should. Okay, turn bottom right back on. More bits from Refsmat! I don't even know what that emote is supposed to be. Oh, not like this. And make it rain! Thank you. <laughs> okay, so it looks like on the top of this one, we got a pretty clear cut, which is good. This is good. That means I don't have to mess with it. So turn the top right back on. We're going to turn down the opacity. It's about 50% on both. Maybe not 50%. There, that's good. And we're gonna see how well this lines up. And it looks like it, it kinda does a decent job. Like the tail looks like it's lined up properly. This part does not, the side. So I wanna leave the top right where they are. Let's see about moving the bottom right around. So on this one to line up, I see a blump here and a blump there, and I'm going to assume those blumps belong together. And it kind of looks like it does. And I wonder if these aren't aligned perfectly. I don't think the bottom three are aligned perfectly. I don't know how I'm going to blend in the middle of the image. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, I have no clue. Right now I'm more concerned about the bottom right looking blurry. I wonder if that decreases if I put opacity up and it doesn't. But it looks like everything kind of lines up in the same way. And that might just be um, I'm not sure why it looks blurry like that unless it's because I sized it up too much which is a possibility that is a definite possibility Alright, so we're going to do with this bottom, we're going to do opacity to about 50%. that. Alright. Actually, we're going to turn these two off. I'm going to turn opacity to this one up all the way. Or at least enough to make sure that everything is lined up where I want it to line up. And then this one... Maybe if I do it on top. Yeah. I had a feeling things weren't aligned properly. There's got to be a better way. Uh, no. <laughs> was it taken before the Hubble was fixed? No, this is a relatively, uh, recent... Actually, let me undo that. 
me change, we'll do overlay. Pin light seems to make it look better. You guys keep that up, you'll go outside. Alright, I'm thinking color burn will let me see where the spikes are better. Are you are you done? Okay, I mean go back to that. Um, that one, the color burn. Okay. So let me go to color burn, color burn, and set the opacity to a bit lower, not that low. Tuck that away. Because right now, Actually, let me put the bottom layer on normal. There we go. Okay. I don't know why I feel like moving my head close to the screen makes any help or difference. That looks like... Set that to that, do normal. <sighs> it looks better, maybe? on this one up. I think that's one that one is as good as it's gonna get. Oh hey Wayne. Rimble's got some emotes. All right, make it rain. Tinker's oh so very excited. You have no idea. She is so excited. All 
All right, let's see what this looks like when I take off color burn. Hmm, I don't know. Um, pin light, I felt like had made everything much better. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Oh, the pizza was tasty. Good, I'm glad. Hmm. I wonder if it's just because I have things in the wrong order? Or if it's just in the wrong position? everything nothing's like bumping out it's just huh huh all right we're just gonna put everything back on normal because I don't know what's wrong with this corner actually it looks better than what it did before on normal so maybe I fixed it I don't know I think I fixed it I think I fixed it here's hoping all right so now we're going to turn off the top right and turn on the bottom left and we're gonna figure out how to line these up because yeah all right so already on the bottom left I see one little bit of a line that needs to be removed and that shouldn't be too much of a big deal so we'll zoom in all the way again come on Oh, apparently I can't zoom if I have auto select on. Pizza, is it a pie or an open face sandwich? It depends on how deep it is. Hashtag change my mind. We did get a pretty clear cut, but I'm just gonna cut essentially all these bumpies off or the best I can. I believe that is the technical term for anybody who's wondering. Bumpies. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. What are you barking about? See, I thought it was a quiche if it had eggs in it. Like, I've made quiche. Right, delete. 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 There, now we have a nice clean edge. Sicilian! I mean, that does sound good. Okay. It looks like I'll eventually have to do the same thing on this side, but let's see if I can line things up first without doing that. And the tricky part here is that there's no obvious feature to line these up with. There's no gas cloud, there's no star, 
There's not really any bands. My mouse is like, no, we're not going to cooperate. Um, hmm. So maybe we'll just do the bottom. Maybe we'll just align the bottom left with the top left. Because that seems more promising. Because we have the shoot offs from this and the tail. So this one, we might not need a whole lot of stuff going on. I don't know why I'm itchy all of a sudden. And we'll just kind of And the problem with the bottom halves is that is literally might it might be that um because I resized them and skewed them and did all these other things that they might just be off. Like, look at the tail. The tail doesn't seem to line up well with the bottom. And it's either because this freaking star is in the way, so... <sighs> but the spikes from the star that is in the way do line up. So I don't know. This might be where some artistic license was taken. And... Um... Because this looks like it aligns well. Oh, you know what? These images are in a different order than what I've been working with. That might explain it. Okay. So that's a little better. And a lot of you are like, what? Y'all were, were responsible for more donut purchases in my house? Oh, what donuts did you get? Oh. <sighs> Yeah, no, never come hungry to a, to a Cosmo Quest stream ever. We will, and if somebody will talk about food somewhere. This is the way. Okay. So, there's part of me that's like, I wonder if we do this. It does look better. Um, and we have this one strong one to line up with. Let me turn off. like am I really gonna have to do layer by layer adjustments like this yeah the line is is indeed looks good. All right, let's put the other two back on. My concern is that um, this is off now because I've moved it up so much and that is off because I am only looking at this line and how the arm is. So 
Yeah, the star is in front of the galaxy. You you can't get stars to move. Um, so that's my concern, is that these lines now don't line up with the thing, and neither does this one. But the arm is about perfect. And I may have just made this too big. I think I literally just made this one side too big because these don't line up right, but this is perfect over here. So what I'm going to try to do, and now none of these lower layers, like they're not lined up with each other either. Probably because I've adjusted each of them to a different degree instead of moving them together as a group, which is what I had been doing for everybody else. But I'm looking at the size of the pixels on here and the size of the pixels on here, and I'm thinking I made this too large, or that's just how it is. So it may just be layer by layer adjustment. Let's see how much time we have. We have about 10 minutes. Um, what do I want to do? See, if I zoom out, it almost looks okay. What about the bottom right? And then there's this too. That's off by a little bit. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We are literally going to do a layer by layer size adjustment. So layer, uh, or is it select? No, no. I know how I had done this before. Oh, it's just edit, duh. I'm gonna do transform and we're going to do scale. And I'm going to try to do it from this side. See what that does. <laughs> How do I like working on a holiday? I tried Paranor, all right. I'm probably going to look up. very windy today. My dogs are not happy with this. Um, oh, we're getting there. I wish there was just a redo, like redo this last transform. Oh, there's the again button, which works, which is Probably too much now that I'm looking at it. It was a tad too much. Maybe, maybe not. Actually. Actually, I'd be okay with that. Things are looking like they line up pretty good. This is within my margin of error. That's within my margin of error. The sides, the ends look amazing. So we're going to turn off that top layer. And we're essentially going to end up doing the same thing. So we're going to do transform again. It's not quite there. I am super happy about the transform again. I don't think I can explain how happy I am about the transform again. Uh oh, we have that to contend with. So 
that looks like that's within the margin of error. That looks like it's within the margin of error. That looks good. Hey, Trillian. There's a Canadian doctor on the team. Okay. Um, it looks almost perfect. Don't worry about that beeping. I say, do y'all even know the story behind the beep? And why it happens at this certain time every single day? This looks like this should be lined up with that. But it also looks like... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Kevlar says, uh... The coach... The defense coach, um... Which side is it that has that line? It's the top which I thought we had gotten that, but apparently not. All right, so we are going to trim some off of this end. Cause I thought we had gotten it all, but we hadn't. Uh, female assistant defensive coach in the NFL, which is super cool. The doctor brings the pleasant smell of black bacon to the group. I thought about making candied bacon for Super Bowl, but then I realized that we don't have like thick cut ba bacon. And most of the recipes I was seeing called for thick cut bacon. So. That was a little disappointing. Um do a little bit more of that and then we'll call that good and cut this bottom black line out and then we should be able to align the bow the bottom and then we might just call it there so top left so delete 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 and then deselect. Turn on the bottom layer again. <coughs> Tinker, why why do you have opinions? <coughs> Tinker's like I have opinions, mom. Am I not allowed to have opinions, <coughs> Mom? Shh. Baby girl. Come on, mouse. Get your stuff together. There's still a bit of a black line there, which means I'll have to go back and trim some more. But that looks pretty well aligned. That looks decently aligned. This does not look okay. So something's off with the size. So we're gonna do scale again.
Nah, that's not It's a windy day and my dogs are like, Mom! And I'm like, yeah, I know it's a windy day, dogs. And they're like, but did you know it's a windy day, Mom? I know it's a windy day, dogs. Mom, did you know it's a windy... Yes, I know. It's it's literally just the wind, guys. It's just the wind. I know. It's just the wind, baby. All right. I think that's just gonna have. Ha I think that's just gonna have to be how it is. All right, later, Paranor. And then this one's still. No, it's not. All right. So we're gonna do image. Nope. Edit, and we're gonna do transform again. And we're gonna do image or edit transform again. Mom, mom, did you know it's windy, mom? Yes, dogs. I knew. I knew it's windy. I knew. I know. I wonder what content aware scale is. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to do scale. All right, transform, we're just gonna do scale. You know what? I'm looking at how this all lines up with the gas and stuff, and part of me is like, I don't even really care that the one other spot doesn't line up, because it might not. But then this isn't lined up, and the other side isn't lined up, so we need to scale down a whole lot more. All right, now that I know what I should be looking at. All right, let's try this again. Tinker, puck. I think, ah! I think I might actually have to call it simply ah! because my dogs are so anxious. <sighs> ah! Come here. I know, fluffy boy. Is this your way of telling me that it's time to be done? Huh? Is this your way of telling me that you're that I should be done? But it's just not working for me, so we should just call it. It's almost there. Let me do one more adjustment, buddy. Um, Larry had asked about if I knew whether or not they had put more darkening up there. I don't think they're going to put another darkening, a darkened one up there until after they see how the one performs. And that's not going to be until uh, it reaches its final orbit, even though you should be able to see something soon. Uh, I have admittedly not looked. All right, I lied dogs, one more adjustment. Um, I have admittedly not looked to see if there's anything. I imagine they're going to be tight-lipped about it until they determine whether or not it's been 
successful. So that's my hot take. All right, I think if I stop messing with it, because that looks almost like it's in within the margin of error, and that's just starting to look weird. So let's put on all of the layers again, see what we're working with. And it looks like I am going to maybe have to shrink this side because this side and this side doesn't line up now. And those two are the same blobs. <sighs> and that's the same thing of gas. So it looks like I should have been resizing with, resizing this bottom left, keeping two things in mind. And I definitely didn't because this should be lined up and this should be lined up and they're not. But let me open our save file from last week and then the week before and just show you the progress that has been made. So let me turn on all of these. So this is what we were left with I feel like not all of these are 100% opacity. Hold on. And then we need top left. Why are you not at 100% opacity? So this is where we stopped more or less after I downloaded the data. This is what we started with today. And this is what we, oh, let me zoom out. Sorry about that. And this is what we have now. Um, I don't know why there's a whole bunch of black edges everywhere. I'm not, I don't know if those are artifacts or from something else, I don't even care. But um, I guess those are artifacts. Doesn't matter, they'll be cut off eventually. Um, but this is what we have now. So compared to last week, we're making really good progress. Uh, it looks like another session of fiddling with this one and this one, the bottom two, because the arm looks great over here, but this isn't lining up how I want it to line up. And that it might just be a matter of me moving it. It might be that I scaled something somewhere too much. Uh, but it's looking it's looking pretty good pretty good. I imagine that once I do get everything lined up layer by layer, that I will fuse each color layer together. So each layer that was taken by a different filter. And that will go from there. Um, but, you know, the annoying part is that, yeah, we have to get everything lined up first. And this isn't, this isn't so bad. Yeah, maybe, maybe it will just be a matter of moving this bottom right panel around. But, oof, oof. All right. I, yeah, I am quite done looking at this. We have done an hour of this. I'm pretty excited. First, you know, how we how we started off with last week and this. I am I am actually really happy about this and it looks so much nicer now that I've zoomed out. So, yeah, yay! Hooray! Hooray! Maybe I won't be so afraid of mosaics after this. So let's go ahead and save this before I forget. And Puck's just chilling. Where'd the, where'd the pet go, Puck? Thank you. Thank you so much. I am, I am actually really excited. It's still saving. It's a, such a large file. Such a large file. So 
yeah, that is, that's all I have for you today. Um, close all these other things. Oh, and I accidentally killed the music. Oh, well, we're done anyways. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch this live and participate on Twitch. Uh, we stream right now every day around one. No, not every day. We don't stream on Saturdays. We stream Sundays through Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Right now, that's 1800 hours UTC. And yeah, if you miss an episode, we do archive everything on YouTube. We try to do the thing. Oh, let's see some dog stars. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. They are whole oh boy. They are whole oh boy. All right. Get an extreme close up on Puck and make it rain. And make it rain. Oh, he's so excited. He's so excited. Look, we got both dogs in there. <sighs> They'll still beg for dinner later. It doesn't matter how many Cheerios we throw at them. All right, so yeah, um, thank you everybody for tuning in. We are here literally because of you. So thank you to everybody who's thrown bits at the dogs, subscribed, pledged on Patreon, bought merch. Um, I think, I think that's the thing. And if you can't afford to do any of those things, which is totally fine. Other ways to help us out are to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us here on Twitch and tell everybody you know about us. Literally everybody you know. We, we like new friends. You can come and chat with us on Discord in between shows. Uh, post memes, post pictures of your pets. Hey, whatever. Ask questions and yeah. Yeah, but yeah, we're we're definitely brought to you by you. So thank you to all of y'all. I we literally could not do this without you. And this has been a production of PSI, that's Planetary Science Institute, which is a five hundred one c three nonprofit working to explore our solar system and beyond. Working con working in conjunction with Youngstown State University here in. Youngstown. It looks like it's sunny outside, but I'm not too sure. Ohio. And I think that's all the things I have to say. I think that's all the things I have to say. I'm getting better at this. But yeah, until next time, uh, keep being awesome wherever you are in the world. Have a wonderful insert time of day here. Happy palindrome day again. And uh, yeah. Be safe, and we will see you all soonish. I think Susie will see you tomorrow, and I'm looking for the things because now it's time to awkwardly roll the credits. All right, bye, y'all.